let's go fishing at White Top Laurel, and it's not a fish hike, it's a fish bike hike. White Top Laurel is one of Virginia's premier wild trout streams. They've got special regulation sections sandwiched here in with the Virginia Creeper Trail, and then there's a stock section down there Taylor's Valley. So what I'm going to do is I've rented this bike from the uh, Blue Blaze Bike Shop in Damascus, $25 in 2019, not a bad deal. And I'm going to use the bike to move upstream from the trailhead here to get away from my perception of pressure. So the key thing I need to do is organize all my stuff so I can transport it is making sure my fly rod makes it to where I'm going to fish. So what you do is you take your rod tube, assemble your fly rod, and now I'm going to strap the fly rod using cable ties to the crossbar on the bike. This is what the Virginia Creeper Trail looks like. It's an old rail bed that's been converted into a beautiful bike path. Very smooth, uh, not a lot of loose gravel. And the key thing for fishermen is you got to pedal uphill. All the bikers will start at the top of the trail and they'll come down. So when you start in the morning, you're going to go uphill and that way you won't run into the bikers until probably around lunchtime. Well, let's go get some fish. Check that out. Isn't that some nice water? Now the higher up you go, the narrower wide top becomes. What I like to do is bike in at least a mile to get away from the pressure at the trailhead and then start fishing. Each bridge is numbered and you can use that to understand where you are on the trail and for future reference where to come back to when you start catching fish. Each bridge offers an opportunity for deeper water. As a result of the bridge construction, Typically, there's a deep hole under each. In this case, we've got this nice structure here with a rock and a deep channel running down the far side. You need to fish all these spots, and I'm going to do that right now. The rod tube makes for an easy grab at your fly rod. Pull it out, put it together, start fishing. Nice fish. Oh, you can see him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that beauty. Let me get him back in the water. Here's another bridge right here, and there's a deep run right over there. Met another fisherman on the trail here, and he put me onto a spot that's down here through the rhododendrons. I'm going to have to slide on my butt to get down there, but he says he caught a couple good fish there yesterday. I'm going to give it a try. Well, I fished it hard. It definitely looks like a great spot but I was unable to catch anything. If you've never been here before, the way you find the spots to get to the stream is you look for these beaten down sections that lead down through the rhododendrons. That's the only way to find your way to the water if you've never been here before. But even then, sometimes they just lead to dry holes. At this water level, this really isn't fishable. Well, now let's get back up to the bike. Now, typically you wouldn't really want to fish next to a campsite, but the guy I ran into said that it's actually pretty good down there, so I'm going to go ahead and stop and give this a shot. 
Okay, I see what he's talking about. There's this nice log right here. And it looks like it's a fairly deep channel running down from there to there. Well, I spent the last six hours up at the upper part of the Virginia Creeper Trail. Caught some nice fish. But I still want to go down and check out this lower special regulation section. So even though I only have about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half left before i got to get the bike back to the rental, I'm going to go down here and just do a recon and maybe catch another fish. There's the entrance. And what's nice is that there's even some porta potties if you really need to go. Down here, heading down on the lower section to do the recon, the character of the white top has changed a little bit. It's kind of flattened out and runs a little bit shallow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive down here and I'm going to look for the beaten pass off of the creeper trail. Well, this late in the afternoon, you got a lot of other bikers coming by, all heading for the shuttle. So this is representative of what the water looks like down here. Real shallow, kind of a steep gradient, as you can see. Here's a little trail off the creeper trail. Let's see what's down there, see if the water's fishable. Well, this is the last place I could fish today. It's starting to get late. I'm amazed. There are actually stairs going down to this pool. So, I imagine it's been heavily fished, but it'll probably be a good place to wrap up for the day. I'm floating a dry fly with a dropper. Oh yeah, it looks nice. Well, let's see if I can catch something. Well, it's running on 4 o'clock. Time to get the bike back to the rental shop, so i got to wrap it up. This looked like a great pool, but I was skunked. But at least I caught that one great fish. I'm grateful for that. And now you guys know what White Top looks like.